What's going on guys? It's Justin and Brian here from Summit Racing and we're always having cool and innovative tools brought to the market and Brian brought us something really cool today to show us. So tell us about what you brought. Today I'm bringing a push rod link checker and I'll explain why this thing is really cool versus kind of the standard ones. With an older engine with an adjustable valve train, you don't really need to have the fanciest tool. You know, they're, they're kind of archaic, right? But on a modern engine with a non-adjustable valve train like an LS, there's no room uh, for, for many of these old tools and you just need something like this. So this is a very good tool. Uh, several people make them. And up until basically this year, this is what people would use, is you'd get in there and you'd you know, put your rocker down and you'd twist this thing until it made contact. And then you were very careful not to touch it again because it would want to twist and rotate, which changes the length. It's also not the tightest fit in there. So like even on this one, you can see I've got some tape in there. So even as accurate as I want to be, it's not quite perfect. So how we fix that is we have in essence a snap gauge. And not only do we have this for LS, but we have it for many other engines as well. We got them for small blocks and big blocks and Fords and, and late model Hemis, Briggs and Stratton. You know, we've got a, a wide variety of these things. We even have like a master set. So anything from a six inch push rod out to two feet long, you can stack up segments and we'll get into that. But um, how it works, like I said, basically a snap gauge. You will pull the rocker off the engine, put this little guy in there, loosened up so that it has its movement. And then you put the rocker on, you tighten it down. And then once this thing is set to length, there's a set screw here. You lock that thing down, just like that. Pull the rocker, take this out, and you use your caliper to measure the push rod length to zero lash. Now, the cool thing is, is that some lifters have 200 thousandths worth of travel. Some only have 30 thousandths worth of travel. You will know with your lifter what the recommended uh, lifter preload is. Usually like on an LS7, for instance, it'd be anywhere from 50 to 70. So you take this measurement you have, add 50 thousandths or 70 thousandths, look on our website, you know, find the push rod length that's you know, closest to that 25 thousandths increment and you're off to the races. Now, just to show the folks at home how easy this really is, mm -hmm. we have this 5.3 here yeah. and uh, let's check one of the push rods in that to see what the length we need Okay, is. rock and roll. All right guys, so we have the push rod length checker here and I wanna point out just how cool this thing is. A, it's stainless, you know, which is always cool, made in the USA and it's patented. Um, every one of these tools, like I said, has about a 400 thousandths travel to it, but it's not loosey-goosey. Even the spring, you know, everything about the set screw, it is super high quality. And if you're starting to get into engine building, you're gonna need some good tools. So, how does it work? We pull our rocker, and we have the push rod that came in the engine. We're just gonna throw that thing to the side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the set screw. Notice that it doesn't go flying apart. There's actually internal locks inside of this tool uh, to keep it from coming apart. It's just designed in, just beautiful. All right, so then I'm gonna put the tool in. I'm gonna put our screw off here to the side a little bit because I'm gonna need to get access to that with my Allen head wrench at some point. So then I take my rocker and I bolt it down. A factory LS rocker needs to get bolted down to 22 foot pounds. I'm gonna get as close. Okay, now all the time, all this while, while I'm tightening this thing down, I can feel the push rod length checker actually compressing underneath it, because I got the set screw loose. And then I'm gonna tighten this thing down with my amazing mechanics feel to about 22, 23, oh, 23 foot pounds, it's foot pound over. Joke, dad joke, not good. Um, now we have our push rod length checker in there. Again, it's, it's free. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this dude up here like this. This is a 764 Allen, by the way. I wanna point that out. 764 in a pinch, T15 Torx works. You do not have to give this thing a ton of force. Yes, it is stainless. It's not gonna strip or anything unless you really manhandle it. Snug, just like that. You don't have to go crazy. All right, so she's snug. Put the tool down, grab my wrench, ratchet, loosen my rocker, set the 
rocker to the side, then we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of a flat space, and we're going to show you guys how that we how we actually take this push rod length checker and measure the actual length of it. And rocker off, tool out. This is now perfect, except for we don't have the lifter preload, which gets mathematically added, but here we go. This is what you need. It's not loosey, it's not goosey. It is perfect. And let's head over to the table and measure it up. 7.299, 301, 7.302, 3025. All right, that's what it is. So 7.3025 is the actual number on this push rod. With this particular lifter, a, a short travel lifter may have 30 thousandths worth of travel or 50. And in that case, I would only add about 25 thousandths to this number, meaning I would put a 7.325 push rod in it. An LS7 lifter, like a Delphi LS7 like we've got, um, has 166 thousandths worth of travel. So on that one, I would probably prefer something in the you know, 50 to 75 minimum. I can go 100 thousandths on that if I'm careful, measuring all four corners of the engine. So I would take the 7.300 and add 75 thousandths to that uh, minimum and probably 7.400 maximum uh, to give it 100 thousandths worth of uh, total lifter preload. Now this particular 5.3 that we've got uses a standard lifter, it's not an LS7 Delphi, and in that case uh, it's got 200 thousandths worth of lifter travel, and I would certainly use something at least 100 thousandths worth of preload, so instead of 7.302, add 100 thousandths, 7.402, that's not going to exist, but 7.400 is very common, so that's what I would use. Man, this product line is really slick and these are available now on Summit Racing and we have a bunch of different pieces in the master kit or the engine specific ones. Right, so you can save a little bit of money with these specific ones. Again, you know, we have you know, Windsor, we've got late model Hemi, we've got LS, we've got small block forward, big block, we've got those. And those come assembled just like you see here. I mean, it is has a 400 thousandths worth of travel to it commonly known that LS you know, has 7400 length or like a small black Chevy, typically 7800, but this one comes assembled, so it's anywhere from 7.2 uh, to 7600 long, and that would be an example of what you get when you get an engine specific. With a master kit, you got it all. It'll do anything from a six inch kit out through roughly two feet, and it just includes the sliding top section, the individual segments, and either the radius or the cup style uh, and along with some threaded segments, the check ball if you need it for the cup style, but that is everything except, ooh, except for Briggs and Stratton. By the way, if you're racing Raptors, you know, other engines out there, we've got some push rod line checkers for those too. So just about a checker for anything. So head over to summitracing.com and pick yourself up one of these Summit Racing easy push rod checkers. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Justin, we have Brian here as well, and we'll see you guys later. See you folks.